Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and back today to take a look at another exchange. This one is called CoinExchange.io. It's not one I've used much in the past, but it's one that I'm starting to use more now because a lot of the ICOs that we are getting into are going on to CoinExchange first. It's one of the easier exchanges to get added to. So what I'm going to do is take you a quick look through the platform, how you can use it, how you can put in your funds, how you can use it, and um, any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As well as that, don't forget to subscribe. If this is my first video you've seen, I do these kind of walkthrough videos along with reviews and anything that people ask me about, really. So hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. So, Coin Exchange, just another exchange. You can see up here, you can go to the markets, the fees are listed here and you have support. Registration, I'm not gonna go through. It's a fairly basic registration like any site. Start with the fees just to show you. They are upfront about all the fees. So there's a 0.15% fee on any buy and sell orders and then all the withdrawal fees and deposit confirmations. So with all the coins, there is a fee for withdrawing and that's the fees are there. As you can see, they're different depending on the coin. As well as that, the confirmations. So when you are making a deposit, they need a certain number of confirmations depending on the coin. So if you've coin stuck, then check and see have you reached all the confirmations yet. So let's go to the markets. So these are all the active markets that you can see here. You can see every single market. This is a bit hard to see, but it gives you an overview of the actual markets so or what the coin is against. A lot of them are against Bitcoin or Ethereum. They do have some on Doge as well. The coin name, the last price. So this is the last price that was on that coin. The change, this is within the last 24 hours. And you can reorder any of these columns that you want. 24 hour volume, uh, 24 hour volume in USD, the high, the low, and then the top bid, top ask. So you get a complete overview here. You can search for any particular coin that you want, any market, you can type it in there, whatever you want to look for. The next thing to show you, we'll go into the charts in a minute. So if you go into your account up here, you can see your balances. Just take a second to load. So you can see all the coins here. You can see I have only got 10 gold rewards coins in here at the minute. I'm gonna show you an active deposit in a minute. I'm gonna do a deposit to show you how it works. So you can see it's pretty much worth nothing what I have in the account. You can hide zero balances here. And you can see here then it just shows the coins that you have. I'm gonna put some Bitcoin in in a few minutes because there are a few coins that I want to buy. You can look here at the previous history. As you can see, it's only got GRX in there. That's all I've put in here so far. You can see your withdrawals. I haven't taken anything out. As I say, it's a new exchange for me. You have your trade history. Again, it's blank because I haven't used it. So if you want to make a deposit into any plan, into any currency, untick or tick this here to show all currencies. And then what you want to do is search. So I want Bitcoin. Uh, there's Bitcoin, it entered today, and there we go. So this brings up all the BTC ones. So Bitcoin is the one I want. Go to the drop down and click deposit. Bitcoin, you can, under the actions on any of the coins, you can deposit, withdraw, you can view any of these orders, trades, anything like that as well. So it's a fairly straightforward exchange to use. We're gonna go deposit BTC. What you do with any coin that you are depositing into, click generate new address, and then it generates an address that is specific to you. So if you guys sent money to, or Bitcoin to this address, it would go to my account. So don't do that. So I'm gonna copy the address. As well as that, make sure that, what it, that you only send Bitcoin to this address. If you're depositing another coin, go to that coin, generate ad, an address for that one, and then send the coins to that. So I'm going to use my Exodus wallet, which I have on my desktop here. And actually look, here we go, we'll bring it in. So I'm sending to this address and I'm gonna pull this out of the way so you guys can see everything. Just to always double check the address. So you can see it starts in 39 and it start, ends in EP, just to make sure that it's right. I'm going to send, Let's send $2,000 because there's a few altcoins that I want to buy. So we'll send $2,000, send more. 
Now, 2,000 is enough for now. As you can see, the fees are somewhat coming under control with Bitcoin, but even at $20, it's still, it's not bad actually compared to what we're used to paying lately. So I checked the address already. The amount is $2,000 and we'll send. So what's gonna happen is transaction successfully sent. We will move that over here and it's gonna take a few minutes. So it probably won't show up by the end of this video because Bitcoin transactions are taking their time. With Exodus, they do pay a higher fee, so normally it's quicker. We'll check deposits here. It hasn't registered anything yet. Go back to balance. Slightly slow here, probably because I'm recording my screen as well. Look, while we're waiting for that to come in, I'll show you the markets. Okay, so on the markets, I am going to, we're going to the first market actually, because it's a, it's easier to see. This is the main screen that you get. So over on the left-hand side, you see the Bitcoin markets, you see the Doge markets, and you see the Ethereum markets. So they are the main ones that this uses. It does, oh yeah, sorry, here we go. So they have Ethereum Classic, they have Litecoin, and they should have, don't see USDT here. Strange. Let's check it out. So no USDT market, okay. Most exchanges will have a USDT market, but actually did they, yeah, so nothing, nothing on that, okay. That's slightly a negative, some people like when they're trading, when they're expecting a dip in Bitcoin, they will transfer their funds to USDT and then back again. But coin exchange don't actually offer it. So we'll just use XP because it's on the screen. It's not one that I am actually in myself, but over on the left, you see the Bitcoin, as I said, the Bitcoin Doge, Ethereum. Here then is the actual coins. You can click on any of these. Let's click on LTC, which is your Litecoin and you have the volume and the change. So these are automatically ranked by the volume within the last 24 hours. So you can see XP is really getting some boom. But looking at Litecoin, over on the right hand side then, you have the last price, the volume, the bid, the ask, and 24 hour high, low, and then how many trades there has been. They actually show you the coin market cap details here as well. So it shows you the one hour, 24 hour, and seven day changes in the coin, which is a nice little feature. Not many exchanges have that. Down below then is how you buy and you sell. So you put in the amount of Litecoin you want to buy. As you can see, I don't have Bitcoin in here at the minute, so I can't buy anything, but you would put in the amount of Litecoin you want to buy, let's say 100, then the price that you want to buy it at. So does it, it doesn't automatically do it for me. Let's pull the last price. I've copied that and I put the last price in here. So if I was buying 100 at that price, it would cost me 1.6 Bitcoin and you would just click submit on your buy order. So you could set your buy order down here if you put in the price a lot lower than the current and once the market comes down to your price, it would then execute your buy. The same thing on the sell, you put in how many you want to sell. Obviously I've none to sell. We'll put in a hundred just for the example. And we'll go with the same price again. I want to sell at that price. This is the total, that's the fee. So that's what I would get in my wallet. And once again, you could set your price way up here or here or anywhere you want. If you set it at the current market price, it should sell straight away. So then we see all the sell orders, all the buy orders. You can see there's a total sell of 586 Litecoin at the minute on sale. And then over here, there is buy orders for 3.59 Bitcoin. So it's a very small market here for Litecoin on this. It's a lot of people when they're buying and selling Litecoin would do it on another exchange. But you can go through here, you can see all of the sell orders, all of the buys. So you can see this is the price that someone is willing to, that's the Bitcoin price someone is willing to sell at. And then this is the amount of Litecoin, so 0.4 of a Litecoin. And then this is how much it would cost altogether for that 0.4. And you have the same on the buy orders. This person is willing to spend this much. They want seven Litecoin and they, this is what it's going to cost them. 0.116 is what the total amount of Bitcoin they're willing to spend. Then you have all the recent market orders. So look, that's the quick walkthrough. They don't have any of the more advanced features like um, 
stop limits and buy buy orders where you can set where once the market crosses a certain uh, price that your buy order then kicks in. So we see all them kind of things with Bitrix and other exchanges, but Coin Exchange is a fairly basic one. Uh, let's go back to the deposit and see if it has hit. And if it hasn't, I will. Okay, so here we go. You can see that the Bitcoin deposit that I put in is pending and you can see it needs two confirmations in order to hit. So when that hits, I will then be able to go and buy on the exchange. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please give it a like. Any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching.